You gotta love Tom Hanks. He was on Broadway in Lucky Man. It must have cost him $25 million to appear every day in that show because he could have been making a movie, and he didn't. I don't understand these actors in theater. It's painful. Anyway, I went to the very last performance. Center seats, $750 for two, but it was unbelievable. He comes out at the end, there's a picture of Nora Ephron behind him, the size of the whole theater, and he is weeping like a baby. I think relief from finishing the run, and joy for having done it so well, and probably in memory of Nora as well, who wrote Sleepless in Seattle for him. Anyway, the standing ovation was unbelievable, and as we left the theater, there was an explosion of laughter and cheering backstage, as I'm sure Tom was patted on the back. But what was absolutely incredible is when you left the theater, 43rd Street was shut down. It was fans, wall to wall. And it was like the Beatles in 1964 when he came out of the theater for the last time and got into his car and drove away. My favorite Tom Hanks story? I was doing the premiere of The Green Mile. Don't know if you remember that movie. But in those days, they gave you supersized sodas before the mayor of New York made them illegal. And I drank mine. Halfway through the film, I trotted out to hit the men's room. And behind me, somebody was running, saying, George, George. I turned around, it was Tom Hanks. He said, you don't like the movie? I said, I love the movie, Tom, but you know, the soda. He said, me too. So we went into the bathroom and he stood at this urinal and I stood one urinal away. And he looked over at me and he said, from there, you're not gonna get a good view. <laughs>